welcome back everyone so today we want to get out of the house a little bit and we are going around to different places haunted places abandoned places today we are in boone county um and we came across this place here i read online that it was a been in for about 40 years now let's go check inside it's a lot of weather damage it looks like You can see the upstairs through the ceiling. Don't worry, I'm checking my footings. Make sure I don't go through. This is the stairs that goes to the upstairs. We are at the back now. This is just crazy. That's where the bathroom was. Alright, today we have with us is Ryan. How's it going? Fultz and Mackenzie. Got uh, one more building back here to show you guys. Let's go check it out. it for this location it was very small we would have done more but as you could see we could not really go into the whole building only a small room so we will meet you guys at the next location in just a second all right so we're at our second location for the day and I'm going to let Mackenzie explain the history and the story about this place. Alright, so basically a family lives in this house where the house is no longer standing. And uh, family lived here. Uh, 
a dad, a mother, and like three kids. Not sure if they were daughters or sons, but uh, pretty much the dad was like wacky and he was in the military. He came back one night and the family decided that they were going to run away and try to escape him. But then he caught up with them and ended up killing them. Uh, one of the kids actually managed to uh, escape to the tunnel down here. But then he caught up to them and killed them too. And they also had a barn in the back full of horses. But he ended up killing the horses and hung himself in the barn. So, I think legend has it that if you try to come on the property, he'll like try to chase you off of the property back to your car. And you can hear horses still in the back. Um, I've actually been here before with a couple of friends. And I was doing a live video and one of the people that's on my paranormal page said that there was flashes of light everywhere and nobody was taking any pictures. Uh, there was no lightning or nothing. And uh, it was very, very eerie here. Let's go and check it out now. Oh, we're uh, on chambers. Someone's been shooting off some shotgun slugs there. Yeah. Still a TV right there. You are? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting nauseous too. Shaking too. Shaking. Yeah. Alright, well that is it for this location as well. It was torn down so there really wasn't much to see um, except for stuff that was burnt in the basement. Um, yeah, not a lot to, to go around, but we'll see you at the next one. Alright, so now we are at the Allendale train tunnel. Where legends have it, a guy hung himself off of a hook. On the opposite side of the train tunnel. On the opposite side of the train tunnel that we're going to be at. And they say that you can still see him walk in the tunnel, you can hear screams, all that.
We are walking up to it now. Gonna have to go around and get to the other side. Just like Ryan is over there. So let's go try and follow him. Alright, so we made it to the other side now. If we stop filming down here for a reason, there's been no new shots fired down here for time. But they got new management, so hopefully things turn around. There's one hook. See it? Yeah. Ooh, torch shells already. That could be one that hangs from, and this one on the other side. Yeah. That's one right, right the there. From what I heard. Water's so clear. We might break out the uh, EVP, try to see if we can get anything on that. Forgot my light in the car. And there's another hook right up there. I think that's it. Alright, so we think we found the hook that he hung himself off of. So we're going to pull out the spirit box and do some EVP work. Is anyone here with us? What is your name? How did you die? Are you stuck here? How old 
are you? Is there a message that you want us to relay to anyone? Well, that ends it for this location again. Uh, we will see you at the next one. We are on our way there right after this. Getting all, right, all the so recording stuff. This is going to have to be a two part video because we still have quite a few places to go to. This is the fourth and final video for part one. And we are at what is it called again? Cody Road. Cody, Cody Road. Road. Oh yeah, then the next step is you're supposed to park below the bridge and turn off the car. And that's where you should be able to go. We're not doing that part. Who's what? There's been a lot of graffiti written on this bridge. I mean, the least they could do is just pay respect. Right. You know, I've never, like, gotten this close to the bridge, like, getting out of the car. I don't even think I've ever gotten out of the car. Like, Oh, wow. So, Ryan is by his car. And he said that his car beat. And your car started? Did you say your car started? Oh, the light came on inside the car when it beeped? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then it, it turned off. Just like right by the, the pillar. Right there? Yeah, but you got a car coming over here. That was really weird what happened with his car. Yeah, I know. I don't say shit. I'll just keep it like this then, just in case. Alright. Turn off the engine. On my live right now, if they want to ask the lady any questions, feel free. And we will ask her. We're about to do a spirit box session. I heard it down here. There's footsteps right there. They sound wet. What? I it sound like wet footsteps right along there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Ew, I heard it too. The dogs are going crazy around here. Too. Two. Well, I, just, siren, I just hear cop sirens now. Hopefully no one's been called down here. I doubt it though. They won't All run right. light the signs for a broken down car. Alright. Alright, well, let's start this. Well that's good to hear, Marsha. I'm gonna start it. Okay. So Did you hear that? here we go with the spirit box session. Did you hear that? Is anyone here with us? Can you hear the spirit box, Marsha? What is your name? Okay. How did you die?
That's wet out of nowhere. Or is it like that when I first came down? That was like that. Ew, that was like whispering or whatever coming through the spirit box. Boom. We're at uh, Cody Road. Where uh, a lady got beheaded. By a train. Is the lady that got killed by the train here with us? Hi, Caroline. What the fuck? Oh, that was a child's voice right there. Those that... sirens are getting closer. Did you hear in the woods? I wonder if they get the car started or something. No, that'd be too loud for the camera. Lindsay? I heard Lindsay. Yeah, I heard Lindsay too. Does anyone know the lady's name? No, I don't. But first off, we just want to let any spirits that are here with us. We're not trying to disrespect you guys. We're just wanting to communicate with you. There's a lot of dogs going off right now. We are here to listen to you. We are here to help you. Siren. Oh siren. yeah, she said siren. So if you can hear the sirens going off around us. And the spirit box it just said oh all right so that's going to close it for this video part one of everything that we are doing today it's going to be long videos so if you like this content please like and subscribe and remember stay positive